What's the deal, baby? I already know Big Boss Hog, Boss Dog, Cake Poke through the dope. Hit the top of this box. Let's do it, y'all boys. Man. Um, Dale knew it dominates Stephen Cool Boy 14. Let's talk about it. Um, Nail knew it. Y'all don't know. He knocked out Stephen Fulton. I mean, darn it. He knocked him down. Okay. Stephen Fulton was laying on his back, and then he finished him off. I mean, it was a it was a great performance by uh, Nail and Nui. Um, Nail and Nui had he he was able to land. Um, I think that power was bothering Stephen Fulton. Uh, Stephen Fulton to me seemed gunshot. Um, he was standing right in front of Nao Inui. Like he, I thought he would have used at least lateral movement, but I think he came into the fight like I'm the bigger man. You know, this dude coming from another weight class. I'm the bigger man. Like this, shit, this gonna be easy work. You know what I mean? You know, I, he feel like he's the better boxer and all that. And I just didn't. I thought that. Coming into this fight, he was gonna look to box more, you know, use a lot of movement, use the ring, you know what I'm saying? But now knew he got power. I, I mean, I said that the dude got like 24 fights and 21 knockouts, not 25 fights, 22 knockouts. Like he got power, you know what I mean? Like the dude is powerful. So I thought, you know, he'll look to box more, you know, use the use the you know lateral movement, be slick, get on his bicycle, you know what I'm saying? Make Nail knew he worked. That's what I thought he was gonna do, and he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? He he didn't uh, do those things to. Uh... No, he just stood in front of that boy, man. He, he, he and then like he wasn't throwing. He was just kind of like he was fainting, and but wasn't throwing nothing. And then when he did throw a jab, you know he didn't put nothing behind it. You know what I mean? Because I know, I think it was the second round or third round. He threw like, it, it was the beginning of the round. He came out, there's, you know, they size each other up. They working, you know. And he threw like three jabs in a row, but he didn't put nothing behind it. He didn't, okay, three jabs, stab to the body, you know, with the right or, you know, with a right hook or anything. He just kind of threw three jabs and then stood there. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> but truthfully, at the beginning of round one, once I saw Nail and Nui connect, you know, I said, I don't think Stephen Fulton got this one. You know what I mean? That's just real talk. I didn't, I, don't, I was like, he didn't, he, he, once I saw, you know, you could feel a dude energy round one. You know what I mean? Trying to see what he's doing. You know, once I saw, I said, uh, I don't know if it's coaching or just Stephen Fulton ain't on that level. You know, I, you know, I don't know. So I'm not going to sit here and, and, and say that. But what I will say is this. He appeared to be like a little gunshot. I don't know what, you know. I think, in my opinion, it was the power of Neo and Newman. He felt that power, and he was like, I don't want to get hit by that shit again. That's what I believe. So I just think that, you know, Fulton got a, he, it's, look, it's just one loss. He can come back from it, but you know he got he got some he got to revamp how he is as a fighter. You know what I mean? You know I mean he got to add more to his arsenal because that performance right there was was not good. I mean even you know he's he's had kind of sketchy performances before Brandon Figueroa, you know. I thought he was going to dominate Brandon Figueroa. You know, he kind of, it was a close fight. You know what I mean? So, um, but it's not the end of the world for Stephen Fulton. I think Stephen Fulton can still, you know, he come back from this, you know. Um, now, when it comes down to Neil Inouye, I mean, he showed, like, you know, <laughs> the boy showed that he's a powerful pound fighter. You know, he's in my top five, pound for pound. You know, uh, that's what, it, and I, I've said that before, I've said that in my other video, I said he's a, he's a, he's a pound for pound fighter. I've even made a list in one of my videos and they all knew he was in it, you know what I'm saying? So, he just shown that he's a great fighter, you know what I mean? So, where does Nail knew it go from here? 
Uh, I don't know. Or maybe try to unify with another champion and become undisputed at 122. Like, you know, I think that, um, or what he could do is, you know, if he got, I think Brandon Figueroa is a mandatory for that WBC belt. You know what I mean? So maybe he could fight Brandon Figueroa, but I'm telling you right now, Brandon Figueroa going to get sparked because his fighting style, I mean, I know styles make fights, but it's tailor made for Nao Inui. Nao Inui got dynamite in his. You gotta. Nao Inui style, you gotta be slick. You gotta run him into stuff. That's just what it is. You got. You have to be slick in there against Nao Inui. You can't be in there, you know, uh, trying to stand in front of him. You know? Now, if you got a beard on you, it might, you know. But, like I said before, I, I think that. You got to be slick. That's the answer to beat Nao Inui is to be slick, outbox him. You know what I mean? Use the ring. Run him into things. That's what I think. You know, because he don't really move his head all that well. You know what I'm saying? But it don't matter if he hitting his opponent and his opponent feeling that power and they like, shit, I don't want no smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. He hitting his opponent and his opponent like, shit, man, that motherfucker hitting hard as shit. Spade to spade. So, I think that, um, like I say, Nail Nui, sky's the limit for him. But my pound for pound list, I got Jamel Char Charlo, number one. I got Nail and Nui, number two. I got Javante Tank Davis, number three. Number four, I go Earl Five, I'll go uh, Usi. So I got Charlo, Inui, Tank, Earl Spence, and Usi on my top five pound for pound list. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Boss gone. Hey, stay tuned because I got some more heat coming.